What is going on YouTube? I am Derm here. Today we have another solo queue strategy for you, another video that's hopefully going to help you guys improve, get even better in solo queue, and achieve even new higher ranks for yourselves. Today we are talking about set jungle. Dardock recently pulled it out in the LCS this weekend on TSM, and in this video today we are taking a look at gameplay from Dardock in solo queue on his challenger account. So this is high elo. If he's able to make it work in challenger, then you guys can make it work in your games as well. I know this is a really strong pick right now. It has a 51% win rate plat plus in solo queue right now. Uh, so it's really Really, really strong it's really really good that's even after the 10.3 nerfs for set it's still playable it's still good so i wouldn't be too worried about that and riot i honestly think he's in a good state right now they've been saying they're pretty happy with set's performance and stuff uh, i still think he's really strong i still think he's a little bit overpowered so that's why i'm recommending him that you guys play him so much uh, he's also playable in four roles right now top mid jungle and support uh, so you're not going to be getting counter picked very often you're going to end up in good and e or at the worst case even matchups a lot of the time playing him in a bunch of different positions i think he's really easy to play i think you can get a lot out of him after just a couple games on him uh, so that's definitely why i recommend it but today we're gonna be breaking down how set jungle can work how you guys can pull it off in your games and how dardock does it in his uh, so starting off with his uh, ability order i think ability orders are really always really important on junglers uh, to make sure you're getting the most out of your clear at all levels this is going to be starting q going into w and then going into e and then he's going to max w max e max q uh, so that's the abilities that you need to make this work also his opening path is going to be red blue gromp and then a level three gank as you can see here he had top lane in this video but going mid would be fine as well if you're on the other side of the map you could even head bot uh, if there is no lane to gank you don't just want to force a gank uh, don't try to make something out of nothing if there is no gank available you can then go wolves into crab after doing your grump as well and that's just fine that's a that's a very solid opening clear if there is no gank available but if there is a gank set does have really really solid level three ganking especially uh, with the rune page and setup we have and everything uh, so definitely look for that and start to snowball the game early because set is honestly really really strong at level three uh, as far as the rune page, this is the Conqueror set that Dardock plays that he is running. This is going to be Conqueror into Triumph into Legend Tenacity Last Stand with Sorcery Secondary, which is going to be Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking. A couple of the runes that I want to talk about that I think are really, really good on set, Legend Tenacity. Tenacity is super good on Juggernauts. Uh, set is melee. He's really kiteable. He's really susceptible to CC. So getting that tenacity so you can kind of negate those effects a little bit is going to be really, really strong. Last Stand is so, so good on set. On set, you're trying to get low most of the time. Getting low builds up your grit, makes your W stronger, builds up that W shield. It's going to happen. You're going to be getting low a lot. And having Last Stand to increase your damage as you get lower that's great that's a great rune if you're trying to get low anyway you might as well take the last stand so i think that's really really important uh the sorcery secondary nimbus cloak so so good on most junglers right now in season 10 and set is no exception getting that speed boost is just absolutely disgusting it helps set up his cc it helps his ganking uh and just really makes him really really strong it's something that again a lot of junglers are taking and i think you should be taking on set as well as far as the build, he's going Red Smite, Cinder Hulk into Merc Treads into Black Cleaver, then a Gargoyle Stone Plate, and then a Spirit Visage. Uh, I think the Red Smite is really, really strong with Nimbus Cloak because you get all the benefits of Red Smite, the damage, the dueling, the skirmishing, all that stuff, but then you're still getting the speed boost from Nimbus Cloak, so it's kind of like you have Red and Blue Smite at the same time. Cinder Hulk, you're just trying to get tanky, you're trying to be annoying. Set has a ton of survivability, a ton of damage with his true damage where he doesn't need to just build a straight damage build. And he can just have a ton of CC, stay alive forever in fights, and be really, really annoying. So getting tanky is going to be important to help you really maximize for your team. You can you can peel really well. You can initiate fights. You can stay alive forever. Be really, really annoying. If the team focuses you, you're going to be hard to kill with Stoneplate, Cinder Hulk, your W. Uh, you can ult out if you get into a sticky situation. And if the team focuses other people... Uh, you can peel them off. You can, you know, just shred them with your Conquer, with your W, uh, with the Black Cleaver. And he's just a really strong pick and, again, really easy to pull off. Uh, as far as what makes Set Jungle good, why he is solid, he has a decent clear. With his Q, you can get really high attack speed. You can really clear a lot of the camps just fine. You have good AoE damage with your W and your E, so that's not bad. You have strong skirmishing in early game fights, 2v2s, 3v3s, early ganks. So that's going to be really, really strong. His W is really strong in the early levels. And again, you're really hard to kill. You are very, very annoying. He's super easy to play. I think... There is a skill ceiling where as you play more set, you can learn some crazier combos, good flash plays, uh, optimal timings on your W, more creative uses of your ultimate, stuff like that. Um, but set is not Riven, he's not Yasuo, he's not anything like that, he's not a Kali. Uh, after playing a few games as set, you're going to learn a ton and you're going to be getting a lot out of this kit. He is really strong, he is kind of overtuned in my opinion, uh, and that's a great reason to play him in the jungle if you are looking for another jungler. 
Uh, and then also he's really, really good in team fights. I think he is great in team fights. He is kind of really hard to deal with. A lot of people don't respect his W damage, don't respect his W shield. I think you can get a lot out of him. He's great at flanking. He's great just being in the team fight. If you can go around, you can get a priority pick onto like a big carry. I have so many games where you can even just hit a, hit a flank take their fed person, dunk him in your whole team, they're out of the fight. Uh, and if you guys get initiated on, he has great disengage, great peel if you have somebody who gets fed, if you have somebody that's a carry. So, so good. Um, but he is seeing a lot of play and again, a bunch of different positions. I think jungle is one of his more underrated positions. I think it's really, really strong and pretty fun to play. For being such a simple champion, he's actually way more fun than I thought he'd be. And that's why I love talking about him so much. That's why I've been making a ton of set videos lately. He's the newest champion. He's fresh. He's exciting. He's fun to talk about and he's really, really strong right now. Uh, so that that's why I like talking about him. Hopefully you guys like hearing about him. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. That is the pick that Dardock has been playing in competitive in solo queue recently, and a lot of junglers are doing so as well. He's really, really strong in competitive play, really strong in solo queue, and I don't think he's going to be getting nerfed anytime soon. I think he is just a solid option for people to be picking up and playing right now. Uh, definitely drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to update on all my latest content, guides, strategies, League of Legends videos, all of that stuff coming to you in the very, very near future. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about set jungle? Are you going to be pulling them out and ranked? And if you do, let me know how it goes. Hopefully I catch you guys all in the next video, but until then, 